Ferdinand Frederick Rome, August 30, 1843, November 24, 1917, was a native of the German Kingdom of Württemberg who fought for the federal government of the United States during the American Civil War. He was awarded America's highest honor for valor, the U.S. Medal of Honor, for his gallantry while fighting with the Union Army as the chief bugler for the 16th Pennsylvania Cavalry during the Second Battle of Reams Station, Virginia on August 25, 1864. As his regiment retreated under heavy enemy fire that day, he remained behind to succor a wounded officer who was in great danger, secured assistance, and removed the officer to a place of safety. Ram was then also severely wounded in action less than a year later as his regiment fought at Farmville, Virginia on April 7, 1865 during the war-ending Appomattox campaign. Formative years born on August 30, 1843, Ferdinand Frederick Rome was a native of Esslingen in the Kingdom of Württemberg. Civil War on September 1, 1862, at the age of 19, Ferdinand F. Rome enrolled for Civil War military service in Juniata County, Pennsylvania. He then officially mustered in for duty at Camp Curtin in Harrisburg on September 18 as a private with Company F of the 16th Pennsylvania Cavalry. Transported south by rail and then marched to the vicinity of Falmouth, Virginia in early January 1863, and then assigned to operations along the Rappahannock River. Rome was transferred from Company F to the Central Command of the 16th Pennsylvania Cavalry, and promoted to the rank of Chief Bugler on February 1, 1863, engaged with his regiment in Union Cavalry operations at the Rappahannock Bridge and Grove Church, February 5-7 and Hartwood Church, February 25th. Rome then helped to call and direct his fellow 16th Pennsylvania cavalrymen in combat in the Battle of Kelly's Ford, March 17, operations near Bealton Station, April 1327 and Elk Run, April 13, the Chancellorsville Campaign, April 26, May 8, including Stoneman's 1863 raid, April 13, May 10 and actions at Kelly's Ford, April 29th and Eli's Ford, May 2nd. The Gettysburg Campaign, June 3rd, July 24th, including the Battles of Brandy Station, June 9th, Aldi, June 17th, Middleburg, June 1819, and Gettysburg, July 1st 3, as well as operations at Stevens Furnace, July 5th and Shepherdstown. West Virginia, July 1416, the Union's advance to the Rapidan, September 1317, which included the Battle of Culpeper Courthouse, September 13, the Bristol Campaign, October 922, which included the First Battle of Auburn, October 13, and the Battle of Bristow Station, October 14, and the Mine Run Campaign, November 26, December 2 engaged with his regiment in Kilpatrick's raid on Richmond from February 28 through March 4, 1864, Rome continued to help call and direct his fellow 16th Pennsylvania cavalrymen in battle as chief bugler for his regiment during the Battle of the Wilderness, May 5-8 as part of Union Lt. Gen. Ulysses S. Grant's Overland Campaign, and during Major General Philip H. Sheridan's raids along the James River, May 9-14, including the Battles of Yellow Tavern, May 11, and Totopotomoy Creek, May 2-31. Continuing to fight with his regiment during Grant's overland campaign in the Battle of Haas Shop, May 28, Rome then also called the 16th Pennsylvania to battle at Cold Harbor, May 31, June 1, Trevilian Station, June 11-12, and St. Mary's Church, June 24. Next engaged with his regiment during the Siege of Petersburg from July 1864 to April 1865, Rome bugled the 16th Pennsylvania Cavalry into fighting positions during the First and Second Battles of Deep Bottom, July 27-29 and August 14-20. On August 25th, 1864, he then performed the act of valor for which he would later be awarded the U.S. Medal of Honor. While serving as the chief bugler for the 16th Pennsylvania Cavalry during the Second Battle of Reams Station, Virginia on August 25, 
1864, he remained behind to succor a wounded officer, Colonel James Adams Beaver of the 148th Pennsylvania Infantry, who was in great danger, secured assistance, and removed the officer to a place of safety as his regiment retreated under heavy enemy fire. Interviewed later in life about his actions that day, Rome recalled Colin the evening before the battle we had quite a conflict with General Hill's corps, which was massing in front of us. We kept a sharp lookout, expecting a hot fight the next day. And sure enough, our expectations were realized. The following morning, after a great deal of maneuvering and picketing, the enemy attacked us with a regiment of cavalry. We were apprised of the attack in advance by our pickets and by forming quickly we were able to repulse them. The officer who led the charge was killed and his men driven back into the lines. Directly after their retreat a heavy skirmish line of the rebels appeared. It was followed by a line of battle which opened fire on us. We suffered considerably from their fire and fell back toward our infantry. Just after we had passed a small piece of woods about ten yards from our line of entrenchments I noticed a field officer lying on his back in the dust in the middle of the road, waving his hand toward us. My attention was particularly attracted to him by the fine, new dress uniform and the shoulder straps of a colonel which he wore. As I drew nearer I saw he was wounded. I knew if we did not take him along he would be captured by the enemy or killed. I jumped on my horse and upon examination saw he was shot through the thigh. I had three of our pioneers dismount and assist. Afterward, Rome and his regiment continued to fight on. In the battles of Poplar Springs Church, September 29th. October 2nd, Boylton Plank Road, October 27-28, and Hatcher's Run, February 5-7 before engaging in the war-ending Appomattox Campaign, March 28th, April 9th, which included the battles of Dinwiddie Courthouse, March 30-31, Five Forks, April 1st, Amelia Springs, April 5th, and Sailors Creek, April 6th. The next day, both Rome and his commanding officer, Colonel John Robinson, were severely wounded in action. According to Jerry Villanueva, non-commissioned officer in charge, U.S. Air Force Band and ceremonial trumpeter, Arlington National Cemetery, retired, and the artistic director of the National Association for Civil War Brass Music, Incorporated, Rom, as the regimental bugler had been by Robinson's side throughout numerous battles and had developed a close, working relationship with his superior. On April 7, 1865, as the duo led the 16th Pennsylvania Cavalry in a saber charge against near Farmville, Virginia, both were felled, rammed by a mini ball which struck the left side of his head. Successfully treated for his battle wounds, but now deaf in his left ear, according to the 1890 U.S. Census of Union veterans and widows of the Civil War, Rome was honorably discharged on a surgeon's certificate of disability on June 15, 1865, and sent home to Pennsylvania. Post-war life following his honorable discharge from the military. Rome was Mary Lindsay, 1840-1930, a native of Ireland, who was a daughter of Edward Lindsay, 1802-1867, and Mary Armstrong Lindsay, 1806-1889. He and his wife then began to build a life with the births of their children Pauline, 1870-1959, Edward, Frederick and Mary, born circa 1872. 1873 and 1876, Nancy L., 1877-1946, William, born circa 1879, and Dorothy, 1883-1957, at their home in Juniata County on what had been the property of Dennis Christie during the mid-1700s, and later that of J. Shelburne Robinson got appointed to the Park Police at the Pennsylvania State Arsenal in 1887 by Pennsylvania Governor James Adams Beaver, the Union officer whose life he had saved at Reams Station nearly a quarter of a century earlier, Rome continued his employment with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania's Public Grounds and Buildings Department as a watchman into the 1890s and early 1900s. In 1912, Rome was promoted to the rank of sergeant with the Capitol Police. Death and Interment On Monday morning, 
November 18, 1917, Rum, stricken with apoplexy, while talking to another Capitol Guard in the rotunda of the Capitol after having just returned from the governor's office where he had formally filed an application for retirement under the State Pension Act which provides half salary for men who have served the Commonwealth for 30 years or more, according to newspaper accounts of the incident. The Harrisburg Telegraph reported that Frederick F. Rum, of Patterson, Juniata County, sergeant of the state capitol police, and known to many men in public life in Pennsylvania, was stricken with paralysis while on duty in the rotunda of the state capitol today and was taken to the Harrisburg Hospital in a serious condition. Mr. Rome, who is 74, had just finished preparation of papers to be submitted to the governor for retirement under the act providing for pensioning of state employees who have passed the age of 70 and have been in state service over 20 years. Mr. Rome was a member of the 1st Pennsylvania or Juniata Cavalry in the Civil War and received a Congressional Medal of Honor. He carried the late Governor James A. Beaver from the battlefield at Brandy Station sick when the future governor was desperately wounded. He has been connected with the Capitol Police for years and has been sergeant for the last five. Transferred to Harrisburg's Polyclinic Hospital sometime thereafter, he died there on November 24, 1917, and was buried at the Westminster Presbyterian Cemetery in Mifflintown, Juniata County. Medal of Honor Citation Rank and Organization, Chief Bugler, 16th Pennsylvania Cavalry, Place and Date, at Reims Station, Virginia, August 25, 1864, Entered Service at, Juniata County, PA, Date of Issue, October 16, 1897, Citation, The President of the United States of America, in the name of Congress takes pleasure in presenting the Medal of Honor to Chief Bugler Ferdinand Frederick Rome, United States Army, for extraordinary heroism on August 25, 1864, while serving with 16th Pennsylvania Cavalry in action at Reams Station, Virginia. While his regiment was retiring under fire, Chief Bugler Rome voluntarily remained behind to succor a wounded officer who was in great danger, secured assistance, and remove the officer to a place of safety. See also List of American Civil War Medal of Honor recipients, U.S. Pennsylvania in the American Civil War. References External links, Ferdinand Frederick Rome, Memorial with Photographs of Gravestone. Salt Lake City, Utah. Find a Grave, Retrieved Online September 21, 2018. Further reading Rome, Frederick William. No Braver Man, Ferdinand F. Rom, Chief Bugler, 16th Pennsylvania Cavalry, A True Story of the American Civil War, Union Cavalry, and the Medal of Honor. Fredericksburg, Virginia, Sergeant Kirkland's Press, 1998. ISBN 9781887901185.